Hey, what's up? Jigzer here. Does your iPhone shut down randomly for no apparent reason? Well, this type of glitch often occurs due to a variety of factors. In this video, I will list each possible reason and explain the corresponding solution so you can fix unexpected shutdowns on your iPhone. Let's go. Before your iPhone switches off, have you noticed a specific temperature warning? Or has your device recently been exposed to extreme temperatures, hot or cold? If either of these scenarios is true, it may be the cause of your device shutting down unexpectedly. This is simply your device's coping mechanism to protect its internal components from irregular temperatures. Therefore, it is better to leave your iPhone turned off for a while to give it enough time to cool down. To avoid the same problem, don't store your iPhone in an area not properly ventilated or exposed to direct sunlight and heat. Another possible reason could be a low battery, so just plug in your iPhone into a power source. Make sure you're using an original MFI certified cable. Counterfeit cables reduce charging capacity and actually damage your device. After charging your iPhone, you can also perform a force restart to eliminate any other software glitches that may have caused your device to shut down unexpectedly. Keep in mind though that the specific combination of keys required to do this may vary depending on the model of iPhone you have. For iPhones with Face ID such as iPhone 10 iPhone 11, or any newer model, do the following steps. The following procedure also applies for iPhone 8 and iPhone SE. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button. Once the Apple logo appears, release the side button and wait for your iPhone to restart. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7. In this case, you need to press and hold both the volume down and side buttons simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For those with an iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold both the sleep and home buttons at the same time. Keep holding both buttons and release them when the Apple logo appears. If the force restart does not work, there may be a complex software problem that cannot be resolved by simply rebooting the device. Unfortunately, the process of resolving software problems on your iPhone using iTunes or Finder may not always work. Aside from that, restoring your iPhone leads to loss of data, particularly if you haven't backed it up. Because of these disadvantages, the best approach is to use a third-party repair tool instead. Personally, I use iMyPhone FixPo. This software is specifically designed to fix common iOS issues with a few clicks. You'll find the download link in the description below. Fixbo is compatible with both Mac and Windows PC, so make sure to choose the right OS before downloading the installation file. After installation, launch iMyPhone Fixbo on your computer. Then, connect your iPhone using either an original or an MFI certified cable. Compared to using iTunes or Finder, this feature has a higher success rate in resolving software related issues. Aside from that, this doesn't cause any loss of data. However, please note that this is a paid feature. From the software dashboard, click Apple System Repair. Then choose Standard Mode and follow the on-screen instructions to begin the repair process. Once the repair is complete, your iPhone should restart normally, and you should be able to continue using it without further issues. At this point, if your iPhone still shuts down even after trying every method I've mentioned, it's possible that the problem is caused by your device's battery, especially if it's been used for a long time or the original material has been replaced with inferior quality. If so, the only solution is to have it replaced. Personally, I recommend that you do this directly at the Apple Store or at a trusted repair shop. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.